So we can see here a hypothesis tree where we find the header and the company and the table header and a repeating group. And if we double click on the table header, we see that inside that we found the name and the number, but we did not find the price. There's just one hypothesis tree here. So that's going to execute uh, quickly, uh, really without any unnecessary branching, which we're about to talk about. The hypothesis tree is populated with the dots pictured here, and usually the first four appear. A green dot appears when the element is found. If a hypothesis will not be taken for a found element, it's a hollow green dot. If an element has a lower quality than 0 0.97, it will be a null hypothesis marked in yellow. Note that you can always decrease this default threshold of 0 0.97 if needed. And you can also go to the Abbey online help file and find a lot of related information. For instance, you can search for tree of hypotheses and see this very table as well as more helpful information. So why don't we do that? So here we are in Abbey Online Help. I'm in an Introduction to Flexi Layout Studio. And if I just search for Tree of Hypotheses, it's found. And we get a lot more background information here. And also the same chart that we were just looking at. So we can talk about the best path. And the hypothesis in the best path are joined by green lines. And other hypotheses are joined by gray lines. So the best path is on the left. Note that we can find three delivery address labels. Here's one, here's another, here's another. And you can call that branching. This branching can take extra time for the Flexi layout to execute. So perhaps a nearest to function setting could eliminate that delivery address branching, or you could provide more specific criteria that could be added to that paragraph element. Branching elements can expand your layout exponentially and slow it down exponentially. So if branching can't be eliminated, you may wish to place those items that branch on the bottom of your element tree. The program needs to consider all possible combinations of all possible alternatives, making all possible complete chains and then it chooses the best one. If the number of elements grows and the description of their search area is not limiting enough, we can face uncontrollable growth of the number of hypotheses. So the overall number of hypotheses for each element in all branches is limited to 10,000. When the program finds a chain of sub-element hypotheses with an ideal quality with a chain quality of one, it ignores all the other sub-element hypotheses. A best practice is when building a flexi layout to begin searching for elements that are easily found and reliably found. Then, for the more challenging elements, make adjustments to the elements so that the search criteria is more limiting and thus only the correct values are found. Making a restricted search area is a great approach, as well as using the nearest to function, and there are many other settings, depending on the element, that can help Flexi Layout find just the right string you are searching for. And that can reduce or eliminate the formation of extraneous branches in your hypothesis tree. Having only one branch is fastest. So let's just recall what we've covered here. Several objects for a given element can be found, and hypotheses will be formed. The null hypothesis 
is when something is not found. And keep in mind that matching will still continue unless that was a required element. The hypothesis quality is equal to the pre-search quality, which is set by either pre-search Flexi Layout Language Code or using GUI settings, as well as the post-search quality, which is uh, affected by Flexi Layout Language entered in the post-search quality scripting area. If the best path quality is higher than zero, the block locations are defined.